something is going on in Antarctica and they aren't telling you about it. And it's big. I've long made the allegation that without this channel, if the mainstream media had its way, there would be absolutely zero reporting out of South America. It gets glossed over in other news from places so much farther away. But in today's video, I am going to share some information that is disturbing, to say the least. Now we're going to go in order with some events. 28 June, the Chileans announced that they're going to modernize their bases in Antarctica. Okay, by itself, you wouldn't think that's any huge revelation of anything. I made a video about it, though, because given everything else that's going on in the region, it would seem like a strange place for Chile to be putting its money. You'd have to know what they're going through right now down there financially. They have their own headaches, not nearly to the extent of Venezuela, but another video for another day. So that's 28 June. Jump forward to 11 July, only 13 days later. The Chilean army put out this tender for the purchase of 18 warehouses for hazardous waste. Now, what in the world the Chilean army would need with 18 giant warehouses to store hazardous waste is beyond me. I mean, it really is, if you would understand the layout of the country and what the Chilean army does, to warehouse it. I mean, they got places way the hell out in the middle of nowhere that are just vast wastelands out there that they could bury waste and you would never know it was there. I mean, you, there's places out there that you need expeditions to get to. Antarctica being one of them. But, okay, so the two events by this themselves, still not a lot of evidence. Then, two days later, this strange little story pops up. A P-7 Pilatus of the Chilean Navy crashes in Cancun. Now, militaries lose planes all the time. I get that. Not a big deal. But it crashed, quote-unquote. But the two guys inside, perfectly fine. Minor structural damage to the propeller area and the landing gear. So, not a big deal. But basically the thing just was set down real nice and pretty and disabled. So now I'm starting to scratch my head. I'm like, this is really darn strange, these, these events. But still, nothing uh, definitive, so I just keep my eye on it. Well, guess what? Exact same day. Later. A fire destroys the maritime government of the Chilean Antarctic. A fire in Antarctica that completely obliterates the government, quote-unquote, of the Chilean Antarctic. The entirety, it was absolutely incinerated. As reported by, quote-unquote, the Navy itself in a statement, it is confirmed that there are no environmental damage in the area and the 10 naval servers at the Maritime Governation are in good condition, so they were able to get the servers out. I wonder why that was important. So this is very, very strange. We'll go back in order. They announce they are going to modernize their Antarctic bases. Then all of a sudden, they have a giant need for hazardous waste, something to contain something. A plane magically gets put out of the sky and right on the ground with no damage, and then a fire destroys everything down there. Now, I'm not a giant believer in coincidences, but I don't think that everything in the world is a conspiracy, but given these, this series of events, I have to wonder. The work of the Chilean Navy in the Antarctic is continuous. The last Antarctic campaign, 50,000 kilometers were traveled, equivalent to one and a half times the world sailing and 5,500 cubic meters of cargo were transferred in a total of 11 commissions. See, this is the gateway. You go to, the, you go to Antarctica, you go here first. 
because you can almost, almost walk there. I know that sounds like a strange thing to say, but when you look at the tiny distance from here, right over to here, and you've got literally this ring of islands that goes all the way around. Let's see if I can pan out and show you. It wouldn't surprise me at maybe times in the past, if water levels were lower, you might have been able to. But something is going on down here. Something that they needed 18 warehouses for hazardous waste for. Something someone didn't want you to know about. So we'll leave it there and let you guys discuss this. But real quick, as we get out of the video, things in Colombia and Venezuela are going from bad to worse quickly. This is huge. This was the guy that was actually running for president in Colombia. He, was, he had a Senate seat, and now he has just renounced it. And more than likely, we are going to see the FARC rearm, head back for the hills, join forces with the ELN, and they're going to give Duque what he wants. A war that is going to destroy this region and will end up bleeding over into Panama. It's even something where uh, the president of Colombia has urged our leader to intervene and ask for the Russians to stop supporting Venezuela, but yeah, that's not going to happen. The folks on the right down there, the South American right, the globalist paramilitaries on the payroll of big oil and other big organizations are vowing to exterminate all of the leaders of the ELN, and the FARC is out recruiting. So it's uh, not a matter of if now, but when. So just pray. If you know anyone who's down there, if you know anyone who knows anyone who's down there, might be the time to pack it up and come home. Because things are about to get hot. I've been saying this for a year. And as I've been saying it, with every passing month and every passing season, Things move inch closer and closer and closer. The stage is set now. 7 August is when Duque takes power. And I think they are ramping up for this. And they're not reporting it. And there's also, of course, we'll say it one more time, something is going on in Antarctica, and they're not telling you about it. But it's not something that's theoretical. We have a crashed plane. We have an entire governance center that's been burned. And we have a purchase of 18 hazardous waste containers from the Chileans. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Think the Chileans could be hiding something from us? You really got to wonder what's down here and what this is. It seems like a very odd place. And I say that in every aspect you could possibly take it. There's been reports that men have flown over this and seen things that, looking at it now, you would not assume they would be able to see what they said they saw. And we have dead silence out of this country. I know this is a strange way to look at it. It's just the way the globe ended up. But this is what happens sometimes when the mainstream media realizes that there's ways they can hide things from you and they can distract you. I guess we'll see. I don't want to turn this into a uh, channel that's like uh, Secure Team 10 because that's just, that's his thing. That's not mine. But I think if he saw the events in the way that I've seen them, that he would probably report this the same way. And this is just a very odd, 
way to look at this. I just wanted to show it from this ex this uh, angle, just so everyone else could get an idea and maybe uh, throw out some ideas as to what this might be. So we will leave it there. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, and we will see you next time. Thank you.